This is the old family home that my great my grandfather built in about the early 1920s. We don't know exactly when. And of course, I was born in 1937. My granddad was a doctor, and I was born in this room. This farm has been in the family 200 years. We almost went under once or twice. In the early 60s, Dad was row cropping. You know, all of us were just barely making it. In 1967, we had a cold spell, and out of about 100 acres of cotton, we in one, two, three bales of cotton. The next year, we hired one of the folks up the road to come to pick the cotton, and he was right up the road. We were next in line, and it started raining. And when it quit raining, there was not one lock of cotton left on that cotton stalk. That was pretty hard. Well, we quit row cropping right then. And Daddy bought his first bull, paid $250 for him. My granddaddy was a cotton gin. He would look at Daddy and he'd look at us and he'd tell me, says, have you lost your mind? Y'all are crazy to have those cattle up there on that good cotton land. When I came back to the farm in the early 80s, we came with a plan to make the farm be profitable with just the cattle. We've tried at least five or six breeds, and it always came back to Angus. That's not what somebody told me. That's what we experienced. Dad has just been it's so refreshing to, to, to wake up every morning and, and he's around. He would be up at daylight with me. What do we need to do today? What do you want to get done today? He has lived and breathed these, these Angus cows forever. Uh, I mean, he, and, and they just mean so much to him. Cows have moved on you now, Dad. Yep, they're gone. He didn't for it. We've made a lot of progress. We've done it pretty much the, the hard way. We hadn't had a lot of outside income, outside help and all. You know, everybody would spend it if they had it, but they had plenty and they had enough. We've accomplished his goal at this point. Now we're working to the next generation's goal. Generational farms are hard. They're extremely hard. We've managed, and we're just blessed to be where we are. That's all I can tell you, so we're just blessed. I'm a blessed man to have what I have and the people I have around me on the farm here. Uh, and it's just the way it is. <laughs>